Welcome back to another video of dreams. Today I want to go ahead and talk about the difference between dreams and Unreal Engine. I've been seeing some comments about that, so I wanted to go ahead and address it. I really do believe those kind of comments are from people who just figured out about dreams and just heard about it. Because if you do know what dreams is, there's no way you ask something like that because clearly dreams and Unreal Engine are different. It's just like it's super obvious. But if you just heard about dreams, you heard it like a game engine, then I can understand why people ask that. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and make this video and explain the reason why they're different. So Unreal Engine is a game engine where you can go ahead and make games. And Dreams is a game engine where you can make full on games. And I, with Dreams, there's an and. With Unreal Engine and Unity, there is no and, that's it. With Dreams, there's an and. Okay, and there's music tools, art tools, sculpting, multiplayer campaign, has PSVR supported. There's just so much that Dreams is because Media Molecule are trying to make a platform with Dreams, and that's just what it is. It's a place where you can go ahead and make any kind of content you want. That also being full on video games. The reason why people are looking at it as just a game engine is because you can make full on video games, but there's so much more to what dreams is it's an all-in-one package a platform it's so much more than just a game engine now people say that because it's just a lot easier to kind of explain to people what dreams is because it's so overwhelming but in a good way it's just easier to just say hey it's a game engine you know it's like oh okay so you can make games but the problem with that is that it kind of does still put people off because it's like, oh, I've heard of gaming just like Unreal. I'm not interested in coding or anything like that. So I don't think this is for me, but there's more. It's not just that. You can actually play people's games as well. It's, you don't have to do any coding. It's just like there's so much with dreams. There's so much. It's the hardest thing to explain, but because it's just so ambitious and amazing. And that's why I would say that dreams is probably going to be hard to market at first because it's just so big. It's so big, but it's amazing, right? But when it clicks and you realize the potential of dreams, then you're like, whoa, wait a second. There's no way this game is real. You know, it's just so, so ambitious. And the fact that you can do just about anything you want. It's not really just that. It's the fact that it's so much easier to do things in dreams compared to unreal engine okay it's just way way easier it's quicker it's more appealing to people who aren't you know game devs or indie devs or anything like that because of how how comforting dreams looks compared to unreal i mean unreal come on you look at that the coding and all that son that's gonna throw you off completely completely so that's another main thing of why dreams is different because it doesn't have coding or anything like that it's gamified so it's more fun it's more fun, it's relaxing, you're on a console, you don't have to worry, you don't have to stress, you can just chill. So that's another main thing of why Dreams is much different than Unreal Engine. I hope I'm making sense. I'm not saying that Unreal Engine is nothing. It's like, oh, Unreal Engine is just a place where you can make, no, Unreal Engine is extremely powerful and devs use their engine all the time. Matter of fact, I just got done playing Kingdom Hearts 3. That's made using Unreal Engine, so, is definitely something that's powerful. I'm not trying to diss it at all. Please understand that. I'm just saying it's a lot different than Dreams. They're not trying to compete with any kind of game engine at all. It's just that it does have a game engine inside of it, but it's not using that as it's like, oh, wait, come here to go ahead and make your full on games. You don't need Unreal Engine no more. Now it's not saying anything like that. It's saying, hey, we have a platform where you can use our game engine to make crazy stuff, but if you don't wanna make that, you can go ahead and work on music, art, sculpting, animation. Oh, you don't wanna do any of that? Oh, that's cool. You can go ahead and just play. Let's play games, we have our own campaign. PSVR community, you wanna go ahead and use that in Dreams? Go ahead, man. You can do all that. Plus it has multiplayer, just throwing that out there. Have fun. Man, I can go on and talk about Dreams forever, bro. You don't understand, bro. I talk about Dreams every single second, but that's just the difference between Dreams and Unreal Engine. I feel like I made my point. So if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and put that in the comment section down below. Hopefully I made it clear. If I didn't, I apologize. I'm really bad at explaining things sometimes. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you drop a like and subscribe if you're new here trying to hit a billion subscribers by tomorrow. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.